All right, CDC is considering revisiting the mask guidelines, folks. This is why I said COVID is back in a big way, unfortunately. So congratulations to all the people who refuse to get a vaccine, which is ironically usually the same kind of people who like refuse to wear masks too, for the most part. But uh, congratulations, guys. Got to a certain point where, you know, it seemed like we were going to get over the hump and that we were going to be able to live normal lives again, but maybe not. You know, the Delta variant is delivering fat viral loads, dude fat people with double vaccines are getting COVID. now the overwhelming majority if not nearly all of the cases in hospitals are still of course of unvaccinated people the show goes on amid the spread of the delta variant officials warning those who attended this hip-hop festival in south florida about the rising number of coronavirus cases in the state florida recording 73,000 new cases last week an average of more than 10,000 per day, now accounting for one in five cases in the U.S. Nearly 60% of U.S. adults are fully vaccinated, but cases have skyrocketed 314% since mid-June, and hospitalizations are up by nearly 40%. The South is struggling. Florida, Arkansas, and Louisiana have the highest rates of infection in the country. Dr. Anthony Fauci confirming the administration is considering revising mask guidance for fully vaccinated people, but saying local authorities authorities should make the call. The CDC agrees with that ability and discretion capability to say, you know, you're in a situation where we're having a lot of dynamics of infection. So even if you are vaccinated, you should wear a mask. That's a local decision. Yep. CDC is uh, potentially considering reincorporating mask mandate later. as a consequence of the Delta variant and COVID cases blowing the fuck up, especially starting off in unvaccinated areas and then moving on into more vaccinated areas where even vaccinated people are getting the higher viral road, viral load from the Delta variant. Yes, Cody Ko. Cody Ko was vaxxed and he still got COVID. Cody COVID, dude. And that dude never goes out, which is precisely why I believe in pushing for vaccine passports, dude. I think we need to do vaccine passports. The big part of the problem is unvaccinated folks, okay? There will be countries where they have a, a higher rate of vaccinated people, where they implement vaccine passports, and they are going to be able to walk around without masks, without like legitimate fear that they're going to get COVID and die, okay? We're not going to have that. We thought we could enjoy the treat of normalcy because of the mass vaccination campaign that uh, so the American government put forward. I was wrong. I thought that we would be able to reach a level of vaccination in this country where we would have herd immunity. But the ultimate goal for the mass vaccination campaign was so that we could return the normal. And right now, the only reason why we are doing this, the only reason why we're like thinking about going back to wearing masks is unironically because we have to abide by the unvaccinated people's uh, uh, considerations. We have to say Save the unvaccinated people. That's the reason why we have to do these mass mandates again. There's no other reason for it. We can't return to fucking normal. We can't go out and do things freely or we won't be able to, especially in the fall. If this keeps going, like I'm legitimately worried that, especially if there's like another fucking, another variant, it's even worse than before that somehow will start hospitalizing people who are vaccinated. Anyway, speaking of European hogs, there was a mass anti-vax protest in France. Thousands of people took part in protests in multiple countries over the weekend to oppose new restrictions on people who do not get their vaccines. Demonstrations in Paris turned violent, as you see, over a law requiring people to show that they've been vaccinated or tested negative to enter restaurants, planes and other public spaces. Australia, Italy and the UK also had protests. Elizabeth Palmer. But how do you get mad at that? If a restaurant's like, you tested negative for COVID, and like, you're not allowed to fucking be around us right now. Like, how, how do you get mad at that? Like, are you fucking insane, dude? Nah, brother, I'm gonna give... No, wait, wait, I will give you our, our negative, sorry. Yeah, so you tested positive for COVID, not negative. No, this is positive. I will give you the COVID. You do not understand me. I must give you the COVID. It is my right. Thousands of demonstrators came out on Saturday in Paris to protest against stricter anti-COVID measures. When the scuffles turned violent, the police used tear gas to disperse the crowd, but that public anger didn't deter French legislators. Le projet de loi est adopté. They passed a law last night that will make My vaccines French mandatory for health workers and vaccine passports essential to get into museums, cinemas, and festivals. 100%.
I don't know why the fuck. Like, we would never be able to do this in America, which is kind of sad, but we should. I wish we did. Like, and even then, hogs would make, like, fake ones. You know what I mean? Like, fake COVID passports and stuff. Outside the Louvre Museum on the weekend, checks were already underway, which took Nelly Breton off guard. At first, I was furious, she said, but then I calmed down and realized there were medical reasons to be rigorous. Dude, this is just the automatic French position. By the way, listen, outside of World War II, when they weren't as uh, aggressive, I guess, or at least the government, this is just the French position is just disagreement. OK, all right. What do you mean? I need a vaccine passport. I dare you. I must see the art right now. They're just like fucking contrarian by design. Dude, I, I just, this is how they are. Over at the Eiffel Tower, the system was working smoothly. Everyone showing either an electronic proof of vaccination or a hard copy. And for those who didn't have either one, there was rapid on-site testing. So any- I get Seeker Hassan, please. This isn't only that. They're threatened to people with no vaccine passport that they'd lose their job if they didn't get vaccinated. But there isn't any vaccine appointment available in the three next months. This government sucks just as much as the anti-vax people. Okay, that's true. I always forget that uh, other countries are not like America where the the availability of the vaccine is different i should always specify we should do fucking vax passports and shit in america because we have all of the vaccines we literally have all the vaccines for the rest of the world it's absolutely fair to be upset at the macron administration for not making vaccines readily available that's the problem with france is that like yeah there's anti-vaxxers and fucking dipshits and shit but like i'm willing to bet that a lot of countries have a have a higher percentage of people that want to get the vaccine that can't get the vaccine right now than the united states where everyone could get the vaccine if they wanted to they just choose not to at this point people don't nice. want you to get vaccine to get vaccinated for some random reason it's not like circumcision okay like it's not circumcision dog this is reason rooted within epidemiology it's because this spreads and mutates if enough people don't get the fucking vaccine how come when i get when i google smallpox vaccine deaths results are 100 deaths in the span of 10 years but when you google covid vaccine deaths you get thousands of articles about people dying slash hospitalized from the vaccine point is have you heard this many people dying from their childhood vaccines yes 10 years ago, the exact same kind of fucking misinformation existed about all of those goddamn vaccines that you're talking about. And there were thousands of fucking news articles about the exact same thing. But now the reason why you don't have that kind of fear anymore is because people it's no longer fashionable to shit on the fucking smallpox vaccine unless you're in like a super fringe group. That's the point. So yes, the same exact fears against COVID were presented towards MMR and, and uh, numerous other types of vaccines that have greatly increased our, our, our average lifespan. But if you're allergic to the vaccine, should you not be allowed to, allowed to go to college campus? Dude, why do you guys make it seem as though there are no medical exceptions to not get the vaccine? Like, shut the fuck up. If you have a rare medical condition in which you like literally cannot get the vaccine, then no, you can get an exception for it. And also... If you have an incredibly rare medical condition that renders you unable to get the vaccine as your doctor has decided, okay, that is not safe for you, then you should be the number one mass inoculation uh, arguer, okay? Not the opposite, you dumb fuck, because you can't get the vaccine so that other, but other people should so that we reach herd immunity. So we fucking protect you. Actually, people who can't get the mouth. vaccine for legitimate medical reasons should be the number one advocates for mass inoculation campaigns because you are in the worst position. Thanks and by so the much. way, most immunocompromised people are fucking massive advocates for the vaccination campaign for that real for that very same reason. Especially if you're immunocompromised hey, and hey. can't get the vaccine, that means like you literally are going to die, okay? Other people who don't want to get the vaccine and lie about being immunocompromised or lie about being uh, allergic are killing you. I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but isn't it not approved by the FDA? Okay, in a month, it's going to get full authorization. What are you going to say then? Like, at this stage, it has an emergency approval and authorization. You take in a fuckload, a metric ton of shit Cody's every goddamn back, day that is nowhere near authorized by the FDA and never will get an authorization by the FDA. So what are you going to fucking say when it actually does get authorized by the FDA? Yeah, you're just going to move the goalposts and say, it doesn't matter, FDA approved stuff. Like, look at that Alzheimer's cure that the FDA approved that, you know, 
probably shouldn't have gone through FDA approval. The FDA emergency authorization for the fucking uh, emergency use authorization for the vaccine is also, it still goes through rigorous uh, checks. Like it's not like they're just slapping on an emergency authorization. They Let's are go. incredibly careful making sure that we halt the production or even we halt the inoculations. Like with Johnson & Johnson, when Johnson & Johnson had an incredibly oh, rare, like an incredibly rare side effect, immediately people are like, hold up, we got to stop. Six people uh, had a severe reaction to the Johnson & Johnson out of the millions of people that were inoculated. They immediately stopped and did an additional round of testing. So it's not because uh, it's not the FDA approval that's stopping you. It's the metric ton of misinformation that you're seeing uh, that is making you fear that this vaccine will kill you. Six people, rare reactions, six people dead. No, they didn't die, idiot. One person died. 90% of the time, whenever you hear about people dying, it's like Facebook posts. You think that's a, you think there's a reason for why it's rarely ever a uh, actual legitimate news article? And most Thank of the nice. time when there are legitimate news articles about people dying because of the vaccine, they will just, you know, offer a correction a month later when they find out what the actual diagnosis was and what the actual reason for what it was. But it's too late at I that point because millions of people have already seen the misinformation and spread it. And only fucking 10 people spread the actual information when there's an update on the story. That's the issue. These are all the main issues as to why we have uh, such Facebook fear and hesitancy revolving people. around this vaccine. And then people will try to fucking I'd tell me like, dude, I thought you hated Big Pharma. Stores. Yeah, I do it hate Big Pharma. I do. I probably hate Big Pharma more than you do, jackass. But remember, these are like public institutions that did the original medical research. Big Pharma's just buying in on top of that, as they do with every single type of medicine. I hate Big Pharma. That doesn't mean I'm not going to take insulin if I have diabetes, okay? You Both fucking idiot. Oh, I, I, I hate big pharma, so I'm just not going to take this vaccine. Okay, dude. So fucking annoying, dude. All these goddamn protests around the world to get vaccinated. Not a single person protesting about the top of the hour, 60 second outbreak. Not a single one of you. Okay. Nurse reveals how she pranks COVID deniers who call her a crisis actor. Reporting vaccine. Are you going to get the vaccine? I have not, and I will not. I'm not a guinea pig. There's not a change. You got COVID? I did. That's was reading my good. Then after I got over the COVID, I had a heart attack after that. So why would you not get the vaccine? I might have a bad reaction to it. I see. Oh, that's good. That's better. You know, I believe that it's a freedom issue, and I've worn a mask probably a maximum of one hour in the entire whole thing that since this COVID came about. It was so communicable. Why am I still standing? We had people accuse us of, uh, giving their loved ones something else so that they would die and we could report it as COVID. We heard it more than once that we were just fudging the numbers or we were killing people on purpose to make COVID look like it was worse than it was or to make it look real when it wasn't. For the first <laughs> majority of the pandemic, we wore the same N95 for like one to two weeks at a time. Tell me what you think about the term healthcare heroes. Oh, I think it sucks. <laughs> um, like... Why? <laughs> So they dubbed us healthcare heroes. Rifle, it just, it gave the public this really wrong impression that we were s sacrificial lambs and, and willing to die for them. We want to help people. You know, I want to save lives. I want people to get better, but not, you know, at the expense of my family's lives either. Then you have the public going, well, you signed up for this. No, I didn't. When I was 17, I enlisted in the army. I knew that I'm- I I legitimately don't know how you just don't say, all right, just die then, you fucking freak. You know what I mean? Just fucking die then. Okay, have fun. Have fun with death, by the way. You know what I mean? Because it's just like, it's so insane that you're just like, no, nah, I want to die. It's my goddamn right. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, all right, just fucking die then, you psycho. It's my freedom. I'll die if I want to. <laughs> My body, my choice not to exist. Right, starting to kill me, calling me a murderer, saying I helped kill those people. I get called a crisis actor all the time. It's my thing now to respond to hate comments with for just $10 into my Venmo account, I'll tell you the truth about COVID-19 and crisis acting. I've made about $100, so. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, and people like send you $10 and you're like, yeah, I'm not a crisis actor. Uh, well, okay. I'm just like crisis acting isn't real and COVID is real. How is this a story, bro? This is like nothing. I mean, it's like 10 people bought into her being a crisis actor and CNN's like, find out about the nurse who reveals that she's pranking COVID deniers. Like, Talk to me when you make a million. You have a you have a nurse in Arkansas making a hundred dollars from ten idiots. Meanwhile, like 
Tucker Carlson is getting paid millions of dollars a year to talk to 3 million people about how vaccines will turn you gay or whatever the fuck. Obviously not gay, but. This week, Arkansas had its biggest spike in cases since February, and it has the worst case rate in the country. The state is offering vaccination incentives, like free lottery tickets. It hasn't convinced many. Did anyone you know get COVID? My son had COVID. How old is he? Eight. Wow, so that's like pretty rare for like yeah. a young kid. What What was that like? Uh, he was sick a lot. He's been sick a lot for a while and he's still sick. So we'll have to go get him looked at and see if there's further damage. So why do you believe the doctor? Like if your son got long, long COVID, which is really fucking devastating, by the way, what, what, what makes you believe the doctors now? Do you, you know what I mean? Like, what if they're still lying to you? What if your son's fine? I don't get how they pick and choose. This is a thing that I don't understand. Like, how do you pick and choose which doctors telling you the truth and which doctors lying to you? I don't know. I mean, he got real sick, yeah. fever every day for weeks. Are you guys going to get the vaccine? No, okay. no vaccine. How come? I just don't trust the government. Are you going to get the vaccine? Absolutely not. How My come? kids are not going to get it. None of us. How come? I mean, I figure I'll just let the world work its natural ways. Okay. We've taken none of the vaccines ever. So Dude, taking a fucking oh my god, dude! I'm just gonna dice roll on nature, okay? Yeah, I'm I'm actually uh, living in a cabin that I made. Uh, I have a YouTube channel called Prehistoric Architecture. I make uh, clay pots, then I stack them clay pots on top of one another. I'm living in a fucking cabin right now that I made myself with my goddamn hands. I'm letting nature run its course. I oftentimes I find myself on my hands and knees running around yelling. I think the kids are calling it other kin. Guess what? That's that's nature. I call it. Nature running its course. I don't wear clothes normally. I'm being forced to right now, but I don't wear clothes normally either when I go outside in public. Why the fuck do you got to tell me I got to wear goddamn clothes, huh? I don't want to do that. So what do you mean when you say you don't usually get vaccine? We didn't do the pig swoon flying thing or whatever that was. We didn't swoon flying thing. I got, I had swine flu. Let me tell you something, folks. That shit was real, okay? It was very real. I almost fucking died, dude. Didn't do any of the, any of the befores. It's something that I don't. I Thanks, don't. Obama. I don't believe in, you know, I mean, I haven't ever, it seems it only comes about every presidency and it seems like it's either crowd control or whatever you want to call it, but I want my family to have nothing to do with it. We've always been healthy and just seems to work better that way. I mean, this motherfucker doesn't even believe in getting haircuts. So, you know, it's not, it's not surprising that he, he also does not believe in a vaccine. Okay. Now, this is not an opportunity to say, says you or you're one to talk. This is a deliberate reason. For why my hair looks the way it does i'm growing it seems like it's either crowd control or whatever you want to call it but i want my family to have nothing to do with it we've always been healthy and just seems to work better that way yep that's why i never wear a seatbelt, too brother you, you can't prove to me that the seatbelt says lies brother that's why i drunk drive all the goddamn time why why is the government trying to control me tell me i can't enjoy a little bit of beer beers hey beers are legal brother Okay, all of a sudden when I'm drinking while I'm driving, oh, no big government man coming over here telling me I can't do that. I can't do no such thing. Well, let me tell you something. I've been driving drunk my entire goddamn life. Never once have I hit a person that I know of or stopped to see and uh, make sure that they were okay. Okay, so if I don't see it, I hit something on the way down home. Fuck it. Okay, don't stop for it. Not real. This is the same uh, mentality. Trump supporters drives in the Capitol steps, waving Trump flags. Cops do nothing. What? Look at this shit. Middle of the press conference. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. 